Hello everyone, this is Budget Are Cool, and you are currently watching my latest tutorial video on how to draw eyes, as requested by Mega Poison Killer. Yay! Um, let's just speed through the base sketch, and when I get to the eyes, we'll start from there. I'll see you then. And we are back. Um, yep. So you can see, I drew, you know, creepy eyeless people. And I guess it's time for eyes. Eyes. Okay. So the first step to drawing eyes is, uh, well, this is kind of weird. This is so out of order than what I usually do. I usually pretty much start off with the eyes, but I, I'm not sure why I didn't just now. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you can see that I do the guidelines on the face, which means... I, I don't know. Oh, it determines or helps indicate which way the character is facing. So this guy is facing a little to the right. This is the classic three quarters view. And what I like doing is putting a face right down the middle of where the middle of his face would be if he was facing straight on like this girl. And uh, then I draw a fairly horizontal line right in the middle. Or I try to get a little in the middle-ish. And then another one a little further down. And from there, I will draw... I'll try to get three equal squares. But that's if it was facing towards us directly. In this case, since he's facing a little away from us, the square over here will be a little smaller and the square over here will be a little bigger. So, I'll start off over here. Right there. I'll be there. And there. Now, in this whole thing, his... Uh, I don't know. Usually female characters for me would have their eyes would actually go all the way up here and then the bottom would go down here but since this is a guy and he's not too happy he'll have his eyes slightly squinted narrow and since this is the further away eye it'll be a little smaller these are the top eyelids by the way or eyelashes and when you draw these you just want to keep in mind that uh, where the lines would be if his eyes were completely closed so in this case they would be down here about uh, a third from the bottom line so two thirds from the top and yep this guy is looking over here So yep, these are the irises, and he's looking to his right at this person. He doesn't like being touched. I can relate. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's him. Put his nose over here, and. Like I said before, he's not very happy, so it's time to put the eyebrows on. This one's like that. This one's kind of up there. Doesn't know quite how to respond to this situation. It is a confusing situation. So, that's him. I noticed that I barely did anything for the bottom eyelids. That's pretty much just a matter of character design and preference. So I usually don't have much of bottom eyelids. And also you can kind of fill it in here. 
And then... Little shiny is for him. There. Ne, ne, ne. Yeah. And if you... Oh my gosh, wrong one. Actually, usually I would draw in the pupils first. Or at least put in little indicating things before the shine. So you can kind of erase over it. So yeah, there's that guy. He's a little perturbed. Now, that's a three quarters view. Here's a side view. And we'll have her... Kind of looking at him like this. Here's the top eyelid. Now forgive me if I'm a little uh, weird on this part because I rarely draw profile views, but for some reason I decided to include it in this tutorial. <laughs> so I like having this at almost a 90 degree angle, usually. And then the bottom one just kind of connects. In this case, I do draw the full bottom eyelid just because, you know, I'm not really sure why. It just makes sense physically, I guess. Or maybe I'm just sporadic and don't follow my own rules. <laughs> and here is that part of the pew, not pupil, iris. Here's the bottom of the pupils. Try to fill that in a little. Ooh, that's kind of weird. Okay. And then she gets bigger shinies. And since it's a girl, I'll assume that she's wearing some eyeliner or whatever that is. Is it eyeliner? I'm pretty sure it's eyeliner. And make her top eyelash thicker. And a little bit on the bottom. We can actually erase some of that. And then to the eyebrows. Remember your eyebrows guys because I have been known to forget eyebrows and many of my first drawings during the first year it's just nope no one has eyebrows unless if they're confused in which case they have that typical one raised eyebrow thing <laughs> kind of like this guy and yeah that's her with her little side profile view and now let's go on to this one this one will be fun so I'm just rotating the canvas right now. So here's gonna be the one that I draw most often, I think. I will go back to the box idea. I like to start the boxes on the outside because a good indicator is to be fairly close to the side of the face when the character's looking straight on. And then from here, you can go two thirds away until the middle line of course and then one third away from there and look one box two box three box yay boxes and now from here draw my classic wide eye girl this one's pretty much just a half circle slightly oval elliptical and now I've tried to get a similar shape on the other side Wow, my hands are shaking for some reason. Don't look at me, you're making me nervous. <sighs> okay, sorry, it's getting a little late and I'm going a little crazy. But I can still draw and talk, I think. Okay, and now she'll be looking at this guy. So big irises because this, you know, physically makes sense in comparison to the guy with his small irises. And there are the small bottom eyelids again. Boom, 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 boom. 
And there's my shaky hands again. Computer's not lagging too bad today. That's nice. <laughs> and let's have her nose right there. Okay, something went horribly wrong. Let's get her, her whole face. Moving it down. And scrunching it a teeny bit. Yeah, okay, that's a little better. Her eyes were a little too far up the head, which made her look strange. Which means I can go over here and raise that initial guideline that I poorly drew during the sped up portion. And yay for layers. Now I'll just kinda that like that. Over there. That like that. And then big shinies. And back to five. Whoa. Oh, sorry I'm not talking very much, but I'm concentrating and falling asleep at the same time. Uh -huh -huh. I've learned that in class. It's a pretty exciting uh, skill to master, but it pays off in the end, you know? And by pays off, I mean don't do it. Because then midterms are horrible. Okay, and there's 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 some something I guess. Uh, just a second. Slight lag of my brain mostly, but let's get this eye a little more. Oh, oh my gosh! Like the other. Hello. Ah, look! It actually lines up pretty well. Okay. And now, yeah, I think that does it for the sketches of the eyes. Oh, just kidding. She doesn't have eyebrows. See? I'm just gonna... Bleh. One day I'm just gonna wake up without eyebrows and I won't notice. And everyone's gonna be like, hey, budgies! No one calls me budgies in real life. Why are your eyebrows not there? And then I'm gonna be like, what? What are you talking about? And then they're all gonna laugh at me. Pretty interesting story, right? I made it up just now. And there's there's her. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get the emotions, not emotions, feeling of it a little better. Because eyebrows add a lot to the drawing in terms of liveliness and whatnot. So yeah, I think I will do the line art for this and then when we come back we'll talk about shading and coloring. Alrighty, I'll see you then.
And we're back. And, uh, yep. It's time to do the shading of the eyes. I already went through and laid down the base colors for everything, including the eyes. And one thing that I may have accidentally skipped is putting in the whites, which... As long as you uh, just kind of make sense of what the eye shape is and what their eyelids look like, then you should be able to just kind of find your own lines and guide it through. And just make sure that you don't have like white all over like here. Because that would be painful to do your characters. Anyways. We are going to add shading on a separate layer in case if we want to get the base color back. And make sure that it's above the layer of your eye colors. And select layer clip. This way, we won't draw outside of the eye. Now, what we want to do is hold Alt. So you have the color dropper tool. That X and then alt so we can get his eye colors i like to make the pupils not quite black but fairly close as you see right there i already changed it and i like using the airbrush tool because oh the the uh the pen tool is a bit sharp in my taste at least so there are some pupils so I've been using a 13 size for that. I'll use a fairly big one for the shading on the top of his eyes. Good thing about guy eyes is they're fairly simple. You don't really have to do much with them. Because if you make them all pretty, then they'll look like a girl. Unless if that's the style that you're going for. The girl guy anime guys. They confuse me. <laughs> okay. So that's this guy. We, I guess we can add a little bit of a... Let's take that off, get the base color again, put it back on. Make it a little lighter. Something that fits right there. And we'll add a little bit of brightness to that side of his eye. One thing to note is the dark parts of the eyes are the pupil, usually the top if the eyelid is touching it, and the sides can be a teensy bit shaded just to add some layer of depth to the eyeball. Also, what I might end up doing is coloring the uh, the outline to match the eye color also. For at least the curved iris part, the eyelashes will stay black-ish. Now let's go to this girl's eyeballs. Going a little dark again. Let's just pick something from there. We are back on the brush tool, and we are getting close, but not quite all the way to the edge of the eye. Oops. And that's how I like drawing the profile ones. Notice how I'm always saying that this is how I like doing it, so if you find a way that you like better, then by all means, lots of people have different styles that are all amazing. You know, it can be amazing. And now, yeah, this is one thing that I didn't do with the guy's eyes. Is uh, I have the base color right here, and now I'll move the hue to a little variation one, and then saturation all the way. No, not all the way up. Brightness up. I don't. I don't know what that value is. Anyway, we're going to make it brighter and a slightly different color to make interesting highlights in this part of the eye. And now we can stick there, go pretty close to the white, and make shinies! Yeah! I like shinies. Make that typical... you know, bright look. Also one thing that you can do if you're feeling fancy, you can go to the brush tool Use the fine or flat one little thing. I don't know. Use a low density um, color blending. I'll probably put it all the way to the max opacity mix. That doesn't make any difference here. And you can make little thingies like that. 
<laughs> okay, it looks kind of bad right now because I'm doing it out of order. Usually if I want to go to this detail, I'll do it before the shinies. And you see it adds that little bit of a extra lineage to the character's eyes. Maybe you can do it with a pen too, if you're really patient. But I'm keeping it simple and we're just staying there. Let's use the airbrush tool, make it a little darker towards the bottom again. And there's her eye. Now let's go to green eyes. Do the same thing, go a little lower. And we'll keep that base color for now. We'll go out a slightly smaller brush. Yep. So I'm just gonna bring little curves. Let's outline it. Then use a bigger one to fill in that part. And the top doesn't really matter because it's just gonna be all shaded in anyway. And if you're not aware, I changed the size of my uh, tool by holding Control Alt and then dragging the tip of the pen. That's also a thing that people tend to ask is if I'm using a tablet or a pen. I'm always using a tablet. Pen? Not uh, what? What did I just say? Tablet or a mouse? Yes. I'm yeah I'm using a tablet because mouse mice. Mice, mouse, mouse, mice, mice, mouse are difficult and uh, not very natural in terms of drawing. I did my first couple of digital drawings ever with the mouse and it was fun. I used uh, Paint.net and GIMP. Those two programs are pretty fun. And now we'll do her little highlights in her eyes. Yay! How happy she is. She's not very happy looking. She looks like a vocabulary word that I'm not going to think of right now. And there's that. Let's bring some shinies to these eyeballs. And shiny. And secondary shiny. Huzzah. Yep, I think that's about done. This guy, I don't know. Okay. And uh, that about does not finish it yet. One thing that I always forget or neglect because it's kind of awkward in my... Blah, in my opinion is adding the the shadings to the eye whites because I don't just <laughs> it confuses me anyway there's there's that for this guy oh I guess if I'm doing this style I shouldn't use cell shading so there's some shading at the top of his eyes shading at the top of her eyes at the bottom ish a little too shading at the top of her eyes as you can tell, it's barely anything, but it it does add at the end. And I think that about sums up all of... No, it doesn't sum up anything. That ends the process of the eyes. I'm currently in a lag spike. It's pretty exciting. Um, but I guess I'll just summarize, and then the rest of the video will just be me finishing this drawing in time lapse or just fast forwarded. Hello? 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 hello. No, no, no. Okay, I'm just gonna talk. Um, 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 um. Yep. So, just remember the first thing you have to do do the face guidelines to kind of get a bearing of where the eyes are gonna be with respect to the rest of the face. Also, remember that the head is a curved and somewhat spherical shape so just remember that you don't want to have a flat face which generally isn't a natural thing in the world then you can do these equal boxes and then place the eyes in the boxes with the limits for the top bottom left and right of the eyes touching the boxes if 
they're completely open, of course. And then through the top eyelids, then the irises, the bottom eyelids, if any, because they tend to not be too emphasized. And then eyebrows, because your character without eyebrows is a sad character, like a lot of mine. And then the details and color, which are just the shinies that we just went over and all the shading. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Or even got this far in the video, it's kind of long. And, uh, yeah. This is Budgets Are Cool. Thanks again for watching. And, uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Or message me or do whatever you want to, actually. And, uh, yeah. Take care. Bye.